All right, this is like the sixth time trying to record this video here. Had some internet outages or tech, I don't even know, man, but we're going to get it done this time. We're going to get it done. We got two circles with radii 13 and 21. They have a common external tangent that's a length of 15. How far apart are the centers of the circles? So these are not externally tangent circles. All right, so I've got two circles. Let's, let's go ahead and jot those down, right? Boom, boom. All right, I like that. I'm going to readjust these a little bit. All right, now I'm going to draw in my external tangent, okay? So I want this to be pretty much horizontal here, as horizontal as it can be. Well, that's pretty good. All right, I did readjust it. I guess I can't really take full credit for that. All right, so there's my point of tangency. There's my point of tangency. When I draw in my radii from center to that point of tangency, I do know that it, they will be perpendicular. So this radius here will be perpendicular at that point of tangency, and then it'll be perpendicular here. So I've got a right angle here, and I've got a right angle here, right? Radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Now, I know that this is 21, and this is 13, and my external tangent is 15. How can I go about solving this? Well, perhaps we should also go ahead and connect our centers, and I'll put that in yellow here, because that's what I want to solve for, right? This is, this is my end goal here. I'll do it in a different color. So what I've actually just created is a trapezoid, all right? Now, what's helpful with trapezoids is if I were to cut this into uh, a rectangle and a triangle, perhaps it'd be a little bit easier to work with. Well, where am I going to do that? Well, if I just run this thing horizontal here, parallel to that external tangent, this, don't want that, this green line that I just added in here is also going to be 15 because I've actually created a rectangle. I run it parallel, so that's a right angle, that's a right angle, this is a right angle. And if each side is 15 and 15, well, opposite the 13 is also 13. And I know this does not look to scale at all, but whatever, we're going to go with it. Now, if the radius of the large circle is 21 and I've got 13 accounted for, that means that I've got 8 left over here. And now I have myself an 8, a 15, and a 17 triangle here, hypotenuse. Boom, that's my distance between those centers of those circles. And now that was just so much fun that I think I want to do one more, but I'm going to I'm going to do a separate video for that one because I don't want any tech issues, all right? Boom, there we go. Awesome sauce. See you.